Today, we are talking about one of the best-selling albums of all time, Bat Out of Hell, and the musical it is now inspired with the man behind it all, Meatloaf. I've always said, you can buy the, the album, take a piece of white tape, put it over my name, and write your name, because the album now belongs to you. And now, a new way for Meatloaf's legendary rock and roll extravaganza to belong to you. As the album marks the 40th anniversary since its release, it's getting a reimagining on stage as Bat Out of Hell, the musical. It is like nothing you have ever, ever, ever seen before. After having its world premiere in London this summer, the musical is launching in North America this fall. So to celebrate, the cast put on a mini concert in Toronto last night with a little help from Meatloaf himself. Meatloaf is an associate producer of the musical, which, as he tells Terry Hart, was a natural progression for his album. What was your initial reaction of turning this cultural masterpiece into a musical? It was always a musical. Every song is a different character. I read somewhere that somebody referred to you as an actor who can sing. Do you identify as an actor more than a singer? Oh, absolutely. I can't sing a song until I know who the character is. How many people do you think can sing Paradise by the Dashboard Light word for word? Oh, a lot. He's played Austin Powers, Dr. Evil, even Shrek. And now, is Tommy Maitland Mike Myers' newest role? Maitland is the host of the upcoming revival of the beloved 70s game show, The Gong Show. He's been heralded as a, quote, British comedic legend. Except, has anyone actually ever heard of him before? Didn't think so. That's because it appears Maitland is in fact Myers going full method, with the help of some prosthetics. He certainly didn't break character even once when we chatted with him in LA yesterday. I've brought over my, my catchphrases from England. Uh, you've got no proof. That's one of my catchphrases. Huh. Wonder why he needs to keep that catchphrase handy. Meanwhile, The Gong Show's executive producer, Will Arnett, gave us what we're considering a little hint about Maitland. He's a performer, you know, through and through. He's, he, he's such a showman. Yep, we believe that. We'll hear more from Arnett and Maitland next month when The Gong Show premieres on City, including how Myers, uh, Maitland, feels about stepping into a hosting role once famously filled by the late Chuck Barris. <laughs> And coming up tomorrow, we'll have our chat with Lady Antebellum.